Hello Grade 12s, today we'll look at what we need to know about exchange rates in order for us to plan a holiday in Africa. In this lesson we're going to work with currency conversions by using estimations without the use of a calculator to determine the value of a currency in another country. The value of a country's currency is determined by amongst others internal and international economic, social and economic factors. For example, a change in the interest rate in a country has an influence on the value of a currency. When countries trade with each other, they need to have a benchmark in which they can value their products. For example, crude oil is priced in dollars and before South Africa can buy oil, they need to convert rands to dollars. When a business exports goods to another country, they can be paid in the currency of their choice. Depending on the value of the local currency relative to the currency of choice can result in a good profit being made. Changes in exchange rates can also affect those who are going on holiday to another country. When planning a trip to another country, the first thing to do is to compare your home currency in RAND with the currency of the destination country. Joshua and his family are planning to go on a holiday to Kenya for the June school holidays. They found a hotel which charges 5,800 Kenyan shillings per night per person sharing. They are four people. Accommodation will cost them 23,200 Kenyan shillings per night. Joshua is shocked to find out that it will cost him so much he is not aware that this is the cost in Kenyan shillings and not South African rands. Browsing on the internet, Joshua finds that one South African rand is worth 7,77695 Kenyan shillings. He also read that one Kenyan shilling was equal to 0 0,12859 rand. He rounds off the exchange rate to be one South African rand to eight Kenyan shillings. He rounded off the exchange rate so it would be easier to work with. It's much easier to work with the number 8 rather than 7,77. Let's use this estimation to calculate the cost of one night of accommodation. We'll round up the price of one night to 24,000 Kenyan shillings. 24,000 Kenyan shillings divided by 8 equals 3,000 Rand. This is still expensive but not nearly as shocking as the original price. When traveling around in another country, it's very important to keep track of the exchange rate when purchasing items. A ballpoint pen may be marked on sale for 1,000 Kenyan shillings. A quick estimation using an exchange rate of 8 to 1 gives you 125 South African rands. Would you pay that for a pen that only costs 5 rand in South Africa? Let's look at Joshua's travel budget for his trip to Kenya. Remember, because it's a budget, it's always advised to round up all currency exchange values. For his budget, he has used an exchange rate of 8 to 1, in other words, 8 Kenyan shillings for each South African rand. For accommodation, he has budgeted 4,000 Rand for himself. This is equal to roughly 32,000 Kenyan shillings. He has also budgeted money for traveling, lunch and excursions. In total, he has budgeted 104,000 Kenyan shillings. When going to another country, it is necessary to purchase that country's currency at a bank or foreign exchange dealer. There are two prices given when asking the exchange rate, the buying price and the selling price. The difference in the two prices is the cost built in by the dealer. Looking at this table, we can see the values of some currencies as at 31 January 2014. These values fluctuate continuously depending on a number of factors in the political, economic and financial environments of the countries and the world itself. Currency can be bought a number of ways. Direct exchange at a bank by doing a direct cash exchange, a money transfer to another bank and traveler's checks. Thank you for joining us, Grade 12s. Remember the task for this section can be found in the Taxation and Exchange Rates Task video. You'll also be able to learn more on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.